Hello and welcome to The Game Plan. I'm Paul Shodka, joined by former New South Wales 5'8", Josh Reynolds. Thanks for joining us today, Josh. Thanks for having me, mate. Today we're going to talk about three halves with a lot to play for in 2024. Let's move north now to a player who is really starting to hit the prime of his career in Tom Dearden. And the Cowboys will really be hoping he sort of takes over, I guess, as the lead half in 2024. Show us how dangerous he can be with the ball in hand. Yeah, well, Tom Dearden... He's known for his blitzing speed and the one thing I know with him, once he breaks the line, he's either to score on himself or someone's backing up on the inside. And as you said, not sure how long, much longer Chad Townsend's being got to go and he's probably as old as me, so that's, that's telling you something. But no, I, I, I think Tom Dean might move back into that halfback role. Um, but I just hope for me it doesn't take away from his, his, his running game, um, which he's, he's so potent at. So yeah, we'll show you some little clips here on, on why Dearden's speed is so lethal. So right here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six defenders. So for the attacking team, they're probably looking up going, we're probably not going to score from this play, but we'll put a dent in them. But because of Dearden's speed and because he gets quite early ball, but right here, Matt Moylan sat in the chair. And this is where Dearden just realises that and probably says, Paul Moyles is a, is a little bit older than me, he probably won't get to me, so he, he pins his ear back. Centre has to make a decision, and then right there, as soon as that centre slides out, Dylan realises that, he, that he's got him. Moylan tries to make a legs tackle, but has no joy. And we've got, some, we've got some support on the outside. The thing I love about that play is there was nothing on there. Mm. But that's what just shows you if, you know, you square up at the line and make people sit in their chair, we call it. It's a great way to use your speed on the outside and, and beat defenders as he, as he did there. This second one, the first thing I love about it is where he gets the ball over the ad line. As hard as we're taught to play over the ad line. And the thing I love about it is Dearden's realised that they're on a bit of a roll. Penrith only have four defenders here and he wants to take advantage of that. There's no play set up here. There's, when you play an ad lib footy, there's, there's no play. All it is is get over the ad line and get on board and hit holes for, for the halfback wherever he wants. He might drift across here. Luciano may have drifted under him to, to, to cause a bit of havoc back underneath, but because they've only got four defenders from such a wide a wide spot on the field, Dearden sees that, and we'll play that now. Bang, right there. The centre right here for Penrith, Tago, has made a decision for, for Dearden, and it's, it's quite rare because he's such a good defender, but he's come out of the line. You want your line to be nice and square. These boys, I'm nice and square, but there's one guy out of the line here which creates this little chink in the armour. Puts a lot of pressure on Tago. Show and go straight through the line. As I said before, whenever he gets through the line, he's got that much speed that you've got drink water that knows that and he backs up on the inside. And that's just some ad lib footy on the ad line and everyone just having an impact on that. But it just, I actually like that, that vision because it shows you defensively, if he's all staying in the line, it solves everything. But once one person tries to solve it himself, good halves will make you pay. And then this next one, it's a little bit, it's a little bit of a different one, but I just loved the occasion. Shark Park, semi-final, game in the balance. Cowboys probably should have won this game. But Dearden steps up. You know, he sees there's plenty of joy around here. Look at this. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven defenders in a little, a little circle. And he realises that and takes advantage. Says to the markers, you know what? Come and get me. A big show and go. A defender's lazy and breaks, the, breaks it open for the Cowboys. And that's just natural. That's instinct. You can't, that, that can't be taught. But that's probably the one thing that I do love about his running game. He doesn't, it doesn't look like he's running, but when it, defenders do things, as we showed in that Tago one, he'll take advantage of it if you're going to make the wrong decision on him. Awesome stuff. His passing game shows that he is just as capable if he has to wear number seven as in the six. Yeah, well, for me personally, I look at Tom Dearden as a running player, but watching a couple of these great try setup shows that he's got a passing game as well and this clip shows the perfect short side play so as a half the first thing you look at is is there retreating defense there's one right there the next thing you look at is how many players have you got compared to how many players they've got we've got three dolphins players with one two three four titans so straight away there's a cue to go and take on that short side another thing that you look at is as a half you're looking directly at who this is that's Mark Nichols, a front rower. 
And if I'm a betting man and I'm dead, and I'd be taking him on every day of the week. So we'll let this play unfold. The thing is with this, the Dolphins, and they actually have, we call it paddle defence. The Dolphins can still go into, and it's not, a, it's not as aggressive. The first guy gets up first and you, and, you, and you just ease back, ease back and let them try and urge them onto the corner. But De Dearden puts Nichols under pressure right here. Bang. Nichols comes out of the line. These two guys are ball watching these two players here. So the, that, the good thing about I love about this play is that's Chad Townsend. He got easy drop off on that play, but he makes his play to create this pass with Dearden. He still needs to throw the pass, and it's great vision to get Hiku on the outside. And then they back up and score a nice try. I love, I used to love going down short sides, but it, there's, there's actually an art to it, and he summed that up really well. But I think that really showed some cues that we look for as halves to, to go down them wider or shorter short sides. This next one is also some great work by Dearden. Simple play block for block but the one thing I love about this one is we really want this guy the ball player right now to try and tie up the four men as much as possible the back rower runs inside the half and you want I've been talking about it before you want him to sit in the chair it actually doesn't happen they play fairly pre-line but Dearden gets it right now and really there's no real reason for him to, to throw this play because really there's four defenders and He's on the inside, so but there's inside there's inside pressure, but there's only really four attackers, and he'll come into the play later. Richie Kennard, the, the winger, makes the decision for for Dearden right now. Look, he's waiting. Look at his look at his body language. He wants to come. He's coming all day, and Dearden's probably looking at this. He's looking at the vision. Look at him. He's looking there right now. So Richie Kennard can't help himself. Comes out of the line, makes the decision for Dearden. It's still a tough pass because Luciano Leilua and the winger are, are very they're very deep. You know, it's, it's, it's still a tough pass to throw, but Kanar's made the decision for him and got him on the outside, and it ends up being a great pass. But that is, that is very hard to do, and the reason I'll just say that is because they're so deep. When, you, when you're going into the line, you want your, your runners to be flat, because once they hit, hit the line, you want them to be scoring the try. But there's still a bit of work to do there, but Dearden summed it up really well uh, on the back of some early passing and not digging into the line. And this is just another great example your normal block for block play. But as we've been speaking about once again, this one, they're very tight here, the Dolphins. Four defenders, one, two, three, four. That pass shouldn't be beating that many, that many people. So straight away, Dearden senses this, and what he's got to do then is make our mate over here make a decision. And what does he do? Goes straight to his inside shoulder and puts a great pass on there for a try. The one thing I loved about that is, I think if he showed and go there, he was coming in on him and he, and he would have made you know, the wrong option, but he did, he did make the pass for his back rower and it was just some ball skills to set up a try for his uh, outside man. Awesome. And like the other two players we've talked about, Tom is pinpoint with his kicking. Talk about this aspect of his game. Yeah, I really love uh, Tom's short kicking game, but at the same time he put some really smart kicks in and we'll see them in, the, in these clips. So this is a prime example not last tackle, the ref hasn't put his hand up. But him and Luch, Luciano out here, obviously have a little play, some good communication between halfback and back rower about, there's no fullback at the moment. So if there was a fullback here, his plug in, he probably wouldn't do his play. But obviously sees that, Luciano's flat. He doesn't even have to call for the kick, but he knows, Dearden knows that, that he wants that. Look, he doesn't get a try, he doesn't get the result he wants, but what I loved is he chased his own kick and got a repeat set. The best thing if you don't get a try is a repeat set. And Tommy Dearden is a special at that. His short little trap kicks into the corner. That was a grubber. Chases his own kick, gets a result for his team. The next one is about a bit of a pinpoint kick, and this is a bit of a weapon here. Nanai is a massive target for the Cowboys. So they've obviously Dearden, Drinkwater and Chad Townsend all know when they're putting the ball on a spot, they want it for Nanai. And the spot that we're aiming for is around the three man. So he's looking around this spot. That's, that's what we're looking for. And Nanai's great in the air. And as we see here, because he puts it on that, on that three man, even though he gets a good leap on it, it is hard because when you're defending that as a half, you've got to have great communication with your inside and outside uh, defenders to be like, 
whose ball is it? And it gets hard for a half. We're only, a lot of the time, a little small. We want to get up and catch it. You want to leave it for the centres. But for some reason, then I seems to get into those spots and you know come up with some beautiful tries, as you've seen there. And this last one is just smart. I love this. Right now, people won't think it, but Dylan's recognised that hazy boy, our number one. He's, he might have made a, a defensive tackle there or a bust, but Dearden stepped up. He's realised that and he's absolutely backed himself. I love this play. Puts in a kick, no one at home, and scores a great try for his uh, Cowboys. We actually won that game, so I don't really <laughs> care about that one try. But in saying that, that's just smart footy. I love that about guys, you know, because sometimes off, that one was a little bit different, but fullbacks these days are always plugging the line and they sort of entice you look if you want to have a crack have a crack and and Tommy did and has done that there so I love that he that he backed himself and, and got a nice little try off it great stuff thanks so much Josh three great players who are all going to make a key impact for their clubs in 2024 to watch more in-depth analysis on the game plan you can go to nrl.com